What's going on, Clutch? What? what up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Doug. It's your boy, Ross. And we're in the Clutch. Hey. hey. Back to ladies and gentlemen, another, another video today. <laughs> one in one Most million WWE moments, like Roman getting that new belt. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga get that new belt. I'm. I, me, Michael Anthony Ross Haynes is not watching for a while, bro. I'm, I'm, I just, I'm, I'm gonna check out. We're gonna watch the old stuff. Yeah, we're gonna watch the old stuff because that that would just be nonsensical. OD. Just, it wouldn't make sense. So, but knowing them. <sighs> Anywho, we're gonna check out some of these one in a million moments. Shout out to the homie Tap Out Corner with the dope wrestling like compilations and videos and stuff like that. Shout out to the homie, man. Y'all go subscribe to him. Link to the original video will be down below. Awesome. Let's get into it. Let's do it. Please don't do it. There are many reasons why Roman Reigns is the head of the table, and this is one of them. In 2015, Sheamus fight Dean Ambrose in a steel cage match. The Celtic warrior had Wade Barrett, Rusev, and Alberto Del Rio in his corner, so Roman Reigns came out to mm -hmm. not. Roman threw a steel chair into the cage to help Dean, and the weapon folded oh, out yeah. perfectly. <laughs> In the first wow. ever King of the Ring tournament, Mr. Perfect competed against a man named Mr. Hughes. Before the match could start, Perfect had to get rid of his towel, and he did it in the most perfect way. What makes that was, that was amazing um... is how Mr. Perfect takes care of his gum. Oh, that yeah. Was, uh... Yeah, Mr. Perfect. That was his gimmick. He was perfect. That have their names, but apparently I was wrong. While walking out on SmackDown, Dean Ambrose got spooked by his own fun facts. Hey, I would be scared too. <laughs> Dog. Oh, that's so funny. Ace, on the other hand, was just annoyed by his graphic and swiped it away. I guess you can do that when you're the boss. In their okay. hometown of Philadelphia, Come the on, ECW man. originals took on all four members of the Wyatt family in an Extreme Rules match. Mm -hmm. A lot of crazy stuff happened, but this one moment was the craziest. Whew. Luke Carper had a kendo stick and threw it on the mat, only for the stick to bounce, allowing Bubba Ray. Oh, he caught it! Oh wow! <laughs> Bubba he started using it too. Extreme, aren't they? Oh, that was lit. Kendo sticks. You've got to see this. At Crown Jewel, mm -hmm. Bianca Miller defended her Raw Women's Championship against Bailey in a last woman standing match. Yeah, Soon pretty good too. the fight, Bailey mm -hmm. pulled out a kendo stick, but Belair was able to send it flying out of her hands. Look closely though, oh. the kendo stick lands perfectly on the barrier. Wow. Oh, wow. What's more amazing is that the stick stayed there for three minutes until what? the referee pulled it down. <laughs> the Rock is called the Great One, and of for good reason. Of the most electrifying man was the special guest referee for a match. <laughs> I love this match. For what? Oh course, yeah, we wouldn't. <laughs> did things his way. After the bulldog tried yep. to swing it up, this is Rock one of the greatest people elbows. People yep. elbows yeah. the <laughs> fly. Damn, when my boy <laughs> slid. <laughs> That's one of the this greatest. Was that was one of the swaggiest <laughs> people elbow <laughs> moments ever, fam. <laughs> Like my boy Slick. <laughs> that shit was so bro. Hey, yeah, you know them church shoes, Dog. man. Them, them church shoes got that little bro, slide to them. That was bro. The Rock is. That's why he's the goat, bro. <laughs> Nigga, Triple H trying to go for the pin. That was good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good. Nice one. Man. That was good. <laughs> Nice one. Oh man, one of the greatest people elbows of all time, bro. For sure, bro. Oh, we gotta see that again. Yeah. Gave him a people's elbow. This match oh, might be old, but nobody has been able to duplicate this one moment. During a fight between future WWE Hall of Famers Coco Beware and Rick Steiner, Steiner went for a power slam, only for Coco to counter and roll up Rick. Oh, wow. Count and victory. Coco's all the way through. What a maneuver. Whoa. Oh, out of the power slam. One, two, three. Jim Ross, you haven't seen that in years. You may not remember Elix Skipper, dope. but you will remember this moment. At TNA Impact Wrestling's Turning Point pay-per-view, Skipper teamed with Christopher Daniels to take on a America's Most Wanted in a cage match. During the fight, the competitors got near the top of the cage, leading Elix Skipper to do something never seen before or since. Oh yeah, that's fucking insane. At the top? In 2009, crazy. Oh, Cody Rhodes took Cody the Rhodes. The match ended in DQ, the young when Cody's tag team partner, Ted DiBiase, interfered. Shawn Michaels made the save, but Triple mm -hmm. H was laid out. So yep, they were about to take him out. Piece of Cody, they was. He managed to reach out from the Titantron and place his hand on Cody's shoulder. Wrestling fans are a lot of things, and accurate is one of them. At Halloween <laughs> Havoc 1995, Ric Flair betrayed Rick Sting Flair. and joined the Four Horsemen. Rick Flair, yep. Afterward, the Nature Boy was explaining himself when a fan threw a drink that landed perfectly between Flair and Arn Anderson. Whoa. At TLC 2016, Dolph Ziggler and The Miz fought in their 26th match against each other. 26. And this time, it was 
was a ladder match. This led to a moment that you couldn't possibly script out. Miz hit Dolph with a drop kick, causing the ladder Ziggler was holding to fall and hit every single rope on the way down. <laughs> that is I guess funny. the ladder wanted to make sure it landed safely. <laughs> this referee has to ladder be the worst official in WWE history. On NXT, the Vaudevilles were going up against Wesley Blake and Buddy Murphy. Without any warning, the Usos appeared midway through the match to help the Vaudevilles. Cover! What a pitting combination. They're coming into this match prepared. Oh, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> a million, I see what the, the graphic. Out. After winning a match, the one and only was confronted by his rival. Bel oh, yeah, this was, this was tough, bro. He was bro. better than his opponent. But rather than explain why that wasn't true, Ricochet decided to show this him. Was, this was a flex, bro. Oh, <laughs> that was a flex. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> I watched. I was like, hey, <laughs> what are you doing that moment, bro? Hey man, he couldn't. Damn, bro, that was. I, I, I'm like, all right, my nigga. What's I come meet you? I come address you, fam. That shit was cold, bro. Over the top rope. That's that, God, that was cold, bro. That, decided to show it. Gotta see that one again. Just uh. And oh, walk right up. In 2010, <laughs> old rivals Edge and Randy Orton went head to head. Mm -hmm. Thanks to a distraction from Chris Jericho, Edge yep. won, but Orton wasn't ready to call it a night. Nope. The Viper went on a <laughs> rampage that was going to be real when Evan Bourne ran in. Bourne was going to hit the yep. two star press, but mm -hmm. in the last possible second, one of the greatest RKOs of all time, bro. Oh, got up. Watched it live on Raw. But that was that was crazy. And that, my son, is why we say RKO from uh, out of nowhere. Yeah, nah, Scott that was Hall cold. was so awesome, he could make anything look cool. On Rest Monday Night Show, Hall piece. came out with the NWO, and they started talking about their upcoming opponents. A WWE fan must have been in the crowd because they nailed Scott in the head with a drink. Only yep. for the bad guy to use yep, it. Yup, he ain't even care. Uh, that was pretty impressive. Wait until you see what Kevin Nash did. They look in 1996, him. Big Sexy, along with Hogan and Scott Hall, <laughs> ambushed the main event of WCW Night yep. Fans voiced their displeasure. Yeah. Yeah, they were mad. The Nash must be Spider-Man because he caught one of the drinks and then dumped it onto one of the wrestlers he had <laughs> just made out. Dog. He just caught it. It's the purest form of chaos we've ever seen in WWE. After outlasting everybody else, it came down to John Cena and Batista. Mm -hmm. Only one man could win, or at least that's what was supposed to happen. While attempting a Batista bomb, the animal started to go backward and the momentum caused him and Cena yep, to fall they fell at the, the same time. and land on the floor at the same time. It wasn't Surely, supposed to happen. This is part of the script. The timing of their feet landing was so perfect. Yep, However, yeah. this was not planned at all. Oh, Batista nope. was supposed to win the rubble clean by throwing Cena out. Mm -hmm. Now, if this wasn't chaotic enough, just wait until you see what happened next. Yep. Vince McMahon walked Vince. out furiously <laughs> to fix this disaster. <laughs> However, as he got into the ring, McMahon tore Oh, yeah, he tore it. Yeah, yeah. Vince had to actually sit in the ring and figure out how to fix it. This nigga tore his I'll quads, never know bro. how that injury happens <laughs> just from you walking down a rink <laughs> and coming into the ring, fam. This nigga was mad. How? Nigga tore both his shit. Just, Not oh, one, he tore both of them. Just, he just had to sit there. <laughs> Like, God damn it. Yeah. I would when he kicked him in his neck. Well, so That's what his ass did. Say what you will about Brock Lesnar and Rowan Reigns numerous matches. Yeah. You have created multiple That was a crazy moments. spot though. For yeah, example, crazy. at SummerSlam 2018, Brock was armed with a chair, but ate a spear by Roman Reigns, and somehow the chair landed on Lesnar's yep. chair. Yeah, <laughs> they knew the where it needed to go. Brock and end the match. Not only that, but in the same match, Lesnar threw Braun Strowman's bite the bank so bro. hard that it actually damaged part of the WWE set. Wow. It's a good thing Brock never tried baseball. Then, hey, just was four years that later, it. Roman Reigns and and Brock Lesnar had another one in one moment. Oh, yeah, he, at I know what they're about to talk about. Two, Brock and Roman went at it again in a match that was even crazier oh, than the great. first. Barry the most amazing ass. part, though, this was cool about right Roman, bro. While standing on his tractor, Brock did some trash talking. After he finished, Lesnar threw the mic. Whoop! That shit was cool, bro. He caught it like it was nothing. And then he did it. On the run in 2015, that nigga Roman is something else, bro. He another mold, bro. That boy weak. That nigga, uh. Nigga, I'm not new to this, nigga. I do this. I, I do this. This, <laughs> this is why we need to keep him away for the damn time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Made him look good tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Pebbles 
kicky on. Look, they watching this like, oh, he did do that. Yeah, huh? He did do that. Mm. He did that shit cool as probably, fuck. Like, probably should. Uh, no. <laughs> However, King Barrett had other plans in mind and interfered and attacked the man that gravity forgot. But listen to how perfectly timed Barrett's bullhammer is with his entrance music. For Neville, it's from behind, it's Damn. Down. Mr. Perfect Wrong. truly lived up to his name. While entering the 1991 Royal Rumble, the Perfect One needed to get rid of his towel. So he threw it up into the air and Bobby Heenan caught it effortlessly. Oh! Like I said, that was a lot of one in one million moments. Yep, and one of his best was the NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. The one and only yep, fighting Adam this is Cole. Classic, bro. Attempted a springboard this is so classic, bro. But Great example from Ricky Just watch this, this bro. Oh, bro, that was perfect. How Adam Cole bro. was able to land that kick without seriously injuring Ricochet <laughs> is beyond me. Yep. Anyone and any could show up in WWE, Snoop. literally. In 2011, uh, Alberto Del Rio defended the WWE Championship against Rey Mysterio. Del Rio won, but engaged in a post-match beatdown, which mm -hmm. John Cena thankfully broke up. Cena had a few words for the WWE Champion, but while he was talking, a mouse was crawling around the entranceway. What? At WrestleMania 33, Jinder Mahal like was one of 32. Yeah, that looked like some Carmax. <laughs> yeah, that was some Carmax. What was I that? know some Carmax when I see it. Somebody Champion, Carmax roll by. While he was talking, a mouse was crawling around the entranceway. That ain't no mouse, man. <laughs> ain't no disrespect. Nah, that was, that was Carmax. That's like some Carmax, bro. That ain't no mouse. <laughs> That's the lip I'm... balm. You know, the one that yeah. people use. <laughs> this ain't no damn mouse. Yeah, no. God, nah, we know mouses how they look. Yeah, no, nah, that ain't, ain't no mouse. Way. At WrestleMania 33, Jinder Mahal was one of 32 wrestlers to compete in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Mm -hmm. NFL football player and future 24-7 oh, yeah. champion Rob oh. Gronkowski was watching the match ringside, and Jinder decided to introduce himself. The modern day mm -hmm. Maharaja took on Krause's drink and threw it at him, and yet the cup still landed right side up. What wow. the One month later, Jinder Mahal won the WWE Championship. Coincidence? <laughs> no. Remember when Dean it's Ambrose was breaking the fourth wall That's in why. Because he's trying to capitalize on the, the, video on the, the <laughs> on the, right. on uh his lineage and family. <laughs> the Indian... Indian uh, 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 Indian people because they were doing uh, some of them type of sh they were doing those shows they mm -hmm. were going overseas so he was trying to capitalize on that but it didn't didn't fucking work so it usually never does yeah Dang. but nah this was uh, this was a crazy a uh, lot of one in a million well not a lot but a few one in a million moments man and I'm sure we're gonna see some more you know what I'm saying nah definitely if y'all want some more make sure y'all run up the like subscribe catch us in the next one continue to spread love be love catch y'all in the next one Oh. from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen, I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me cause I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside they know they can't handle half of me.